All right, what's up guys, it's Freddy. How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. So I heard something from, I forget his name, but he was talking to Brett Malinowski and it was some guy that started digitaldropshipping.com and like a couple other companies and sold them off. But he was talking about how he wishes he had documented his journey because in, I definitely agree with this because documenting your journey, people like the non-professional, oh, he's like me type feel. They enjoy relating to the person they're talking to. When a lot of people blow up, it is when they start doing content that's showing their other side, showing their human side. Because a lot of humans with their content make it seem like, even though it's subconscious to a lot of people, it seems like, oh, this person is perfect. Oh, this person is too perfect. Oh, this person is unreally perfect. Or like, maybe they seem like, they, like a lot of people position themselves above their audience. Like, I'm perfect. Unintentionally or intentionally, who knows? But it's like, they do it because they, like, they only show thousands of moments, right? And all 1,000 are their best moments. All 1,000 are the moments they were happy right before they turned off the camera and sobbed on the floor because of some problem they're dealing with. So it's like, it looks like when you're just scrolling their freaking page, like they have the perfect life and you're like, why can't I replicate this? Because it's impossible. That's why. And so because it's impossible, because a lot of people don't know that clearly and they think somehow you do get this perfect life. If you're Drake, you just have no problems somehow. Because even Drake lays down on his pillow some nights and says, wow, that day was shit, right? Like, this is not abnormal, it's not weird, but it's like if you look at Drake's Instagram, you're never going to get that vibe, you know? So what he's talking about is he's saying that, oh, his name was George. Uh, George Stoyetsev or George, I don't know. He was on Brett Malinowski. I'll link the video in the description because he was super good. And I had actually seen one of his videos in the last few months and I didn't know it was him. And so seeing him talk about what he did in his process and what he didn't do right, his failures, his mistakes, that's really where I took notes on. That's And I'm gonna watch that video again right now and probably react to it in the way of, I'm gonna play the video and every time I start coming up with ideas and something to teach the camera, I'm gonna turn the camera back on and talk. I'm not actually gonna react to the video with you guys alongside because I watch it on two times speed or whatever and, and like I said, I don't wanna jack their fucking content. I just wanna use it to make a video for me because it's almost like me recording my mastermind. Like it's like a mastermind with myself. Like I'm, I'm watching these two smart bastards talk on the screen and I'm masterminding by throwing out ideas and thinking of crazy shit that's useful for me and useful for others. But it has nothing to do with obviously what they're mentioning in the video. So I would like to make a video of me reacting to that, my mastermind. My, like I'm masterminding with these two guys through the screen and they have no idea. Permissionless mastermind, we'll call it that. Permissionless masterminding part one is probably gonna be uploaded after this. And it is going to be of Brett and uh, George and their talk on software and personal branding and things like this. And I'm going to throw out my thoughts because I have a lot of them for that that will help you guys and me. So I like teaching. I'll give you I'll give you something weird that I think about a lot. Teaching is almost selfish in the way that when you teach, you identify gaps in your knowledge. So you can go fill those gaps and become smarter. When you teach, the neurology of teaching gives you like as I give to you and pour into people and pour into this guy and pour into, it's like as I give people things, I get this nice feeling in my head, which is fulfillment, which is progress. Me getting better at my skills and sharing those is progress and fulfillment. It's a combination, right? It's of of mastery and serving others. That's me getting fulfilled. I'm, I feel great after I teach, right? So it's almost like teaching is selfish in the sense that I could do it forever get smarter forever. I'm getting more out of it than they're getting from me, even though I'm giving them the most I possibly can by pouring into them everything I know. <laughs> it's just most people won't go use all of what I'm using, but at the level I'm at, and then me stacking what I just said and learned talking to them, and, and then the feeling that I got to push me, to, to motivate me to go keep learning and getting better, it's almost selfish to teach. So I love teaching. Um, and it's, it's almost weird, right? Because if you said that, people would be like, what the hell are you talking about? Selfish to teach, whatever. <laughs> but it's like, I love teaching. It's super fun. So the thing is, I want to teach like these guys. I want to teach, like I want to teach them. Like I like identifying successful people's wrongs. Like when they say something wrong or something that they're like, I don't even know why this works, but blah, 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 blah. It's like, that's why I'm like, that's where I can provide value to him. When I have, I'm going to go figure that out right now. I'm going to go read all about it. And when I meet so-and-so, I'm going to tell him, Mr. Successful, Mr. $100 million man, I'm going to challenge him and tell him something he didn't know. See, that's, that's, that's why I, that's my strategy. So it's like, I enjoy watching successful people teach so I can learn from them and then identifying where they suck and identifying where their mistakes that were made in the past, where I can skip and just time jump, you know, shortcut. And so 
like those are my reasons for watching what I watch. Then I implement like crazy. I implement like a damn madman, right? Like I literally read books, watch videos, take what they said, and then go put it to use. And I go practice it and just do it. And I think over a long enough time scale, I'll just become hyper successful just from that alone. It's something I really enjoy doing. It's not really something I'm ever going to stop is learning, practicing, but like the problem for some people is even though they go learn, they don't learn, work, and work out. They don't learn, work, work out, and eat good. They don't learn, work, work out, eat good, and sleep good. And it's like they don't get sun, and they don't go on walks, and they don't take time to themselves, and they don't meditate, and they don't grow in their relationships, their mind, their knowledge, their body, their health, their, uh, their money, their finances. They don't grow all of those at once. And if they do, they can't maintain the performance because they're not, like I said, following those, those key steps every day, meditation, workout, read. Meditation, workout, read. <laughs> like every single day. So it's like when people want to compete with me, that's fine. I'm here to compete because like there's so many other people that do this thing, like do parts of this thing, but they don't do the whole thing. And then they're not all in and they don't believe in themselves to the extent that I believe in myself. So it's like I'm not scared of competition. I actually enjoy competition. I want to learn and improve my competition so they, they can learn and improve me. And then as we learn and improve, like we're already, if you work out, you're already top 10% of this fucking country. If you read every day, you're already top 10%. No one does that. <laughs> and like, so it's not hard to separate yourself. So it's like, we're already up here. And so if we're both, um, you know, successful, we don't need to compete for customers. There's already people that don't understand any of this stuff at all, period. That will just funnel right into both of our projects, you know? So we can, I, I thoroughly enjoy the fact that I can teach something very, um, crucial to your success and then someone else can teach something very crucial to your success and we can both teach each other because we don't i don't know shit about what he's talking about he doesn't know shit about what i'm talking about you guys need all of it i need all of it as well so it's like i'm learning from him he's learning. it's like the learning orgy never ends and i enjoy it a lot i really want to interview and speak and serve on stage with a successful woman as well like there's no like women that i follow too much but i really enjoy talking to intelligent women too there it's super fun i'll tell you something funny though it's like the mind is more sexy than the body, but usually the people that work on their mind work on their body. And usually the people that don't work on their mind don't work on their body. So it's like they kind of come together. And it's like I just enjoy like operating at a higher level than you need not to. <laughs> like, like there is no reason you need to eat fucking four burgers in one week. There is no reason that you can't work out on all five or six or seven of those days in that week. Oh, but I'm tired. Oh, but I'm this. Oh, but I'm that. I just enjoy people that live at a higher level. Like they have more control over themselves. They have more control over how they spend their time. Not their time in general. No one controls time, but you can control yours. You can delegate yours. You can uh, protect yours. So it's like I like interviewing, talking to, speaking to, learning from, teaching people that are similar to me in the sense of we just like to do things are that are more self-aware. If you want, here, I'll give you a book. Give me a second. Bang. There's the book, Know Thyself, The Science of Self-Awareness, the neuroscience, if you will, of self-awareness. Ed Milet said the most successful people he knows are the most self-aware people he knows. So it's like, I think I have like some type of like magnetization towards people that have high self-awareness, that actually understand what the hell is going on to the extent that they do, and they're willing to share that, fail, get better, and learn that from others publicly, or you know what I'm saying? Because you have to work publicly. This is the thing. So the thing I learned from George, that, and the reason I'm saying all this random stuff, is because he said, document your journey. Don't skip that part. Don't skip that part because like you have people like Iman Ghazi who's like documented his whole journey. So he's very qualified to teach those people because he was exactly that person, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, four years ago. And he had that same, the fucking video to show it, right? You seen him, he was you, he was worse than you, whatever, right? It's like, so you want to show the whole journey, start to finish. Like people like the underdog that like had nothing and then got something in. Um, wasn't destined to win because he was born into an okay area or a poor area and then he just won anyways how did he do it people like that right so like the story people like the storyline also people just like to see the fucking story it's like if you just show up one day out of nowhere like alex hermosi with a whole bunch of mills under your belt and, and no he did not show up out of nowhere i heard brett say something like that he didn't actually show up out of nowhere but hold on we'll just stick with this for a second Show up out of nowhere, the, the way you would grow from that, right, is then to just give everything away and bring everyone in. That was his strategy. Give everything away. We've sold a company for, you know, $50 million. We've done this. We've done that. This is how you do it. And so, again, he's qualified, but he didn't record the journey, right, of him doing that stuff. But guess what? He talks about it all the time. He talks about where he came from. He talks about their poor. He talks about where they fail. He talks about... So, it's like, in any case, you want to show that in some way. Showcase that to your followers. 
And, oh yeah, by the way, Alex did not come out of nowhere. This dude had like thousand a thousand podcasts before one ever even did anything. So he was already there sitting there on the mic talking. It's like, no, he did not come out of nowhere. No one comes out of nowhere. That's another thing, like a misconception they, they were even kind of mentioning but not mentioning is nobody overnight successes. Even the people that look like overnight successes, they were working and charging up all this energy way before you saw them. Way before you saw them. And so like, and a lot of people know that, okay? So they didn't get that part wrong per se. But they also said that like talent, like, you know, some people are just so talented that you can tell and then off their talent, you can really put them on the right path to really let them go take off. But it's like, people aren't talented. People are not talented. People like, and, and that, that's not what carries them to the top. The talented guy is still gonna get some wall and fail. And when he does, he's gonna crumple at it. It's like, you have to be talented and be growth mindset. You have to be able to learn skills. Will, like, I would say more, you wanna have a kid that walks in and he's like, dude, I'm willing to learn anything. Give me all the things you need me to learn over the next one, two, three, six months. I'm there, I'm learning every single day. Yeah, watch me, I already read three books this week. I'm, I'm freaking hyped up off learning. I'm wired off the shit, man. Like, where are we at? Where, what's, what's next? Where's the next skill? What do I need? Who do I need to become to become the person that is right for your position in your company? I'll do it. It's like, that's the type you want. But it's like they were focusing more on talent. And I don't know if he was like, he went to McKinsey Consulting, but I don't know if you've ever read the book Grit. It's like in Grit, she talks about McKinsey and she talks about how she went there and she talks about how other people went there, but it had nothing to do with whether or not they would stop out, quit or whatever. It was grit. So it's like, I would look for grit in the people that I hire, the people that come to me, the people that show up and a growth mindset. For example, I'll give you guys three books that every single person should read. Extreme Ownership, Grit, Angela Duckworth, uh, Jocko Willink, Extreme Ownership, and Mindset by Carol S. Dweck, Dr. Carol Dweck. Those three books are foundation and you cannot skip them. You cannot skip them. If you can read in English, you should read those three books because like the growth mindset is so foundational to you doing anything and actually progressing, knowing that you can get better. It just changes your belief about yourself and instantly starts changing your actions. And then instantly over time, you changing your beliefs and your actions is obviously gonna change your results, your output, your outcomes. This is like what mindset will do for you. It just will change how you look at things. Extreme ownership will change how you take, you need to take responsibility for everything in your life. And he will break it down for you uh, with some cool ass stories too. And it's a, it's a good book, it's like a movie. It's like a nice book to read at night. And then the last one is with some really good principles, by the way. And then the last one I would say just off the top is grit because of the reason I just said. You want to have grit. You want to push through things, but you want to try some things at the beginning to know what you like. Find your passion first. Know that you want to be gritty in this thing and then push through all the failures. Push through all the like, okay, what skills do I need to learn to become that person? And then push through all the mistakes that you make. But it's like, so for me, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to record all the mistakes I make. So all the time when I'm building these digital products and I'm building businesses and I'm taking on meetings and I'm doing this and I'm selling this product, I'm just going to record all of that. And then I'll just upload it here. You guys can critique it. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I need to be better over here. And then I will say thank you and we'll move on and we'll keep getting better. Right. And over time, like that's what I want on YouTube anyways is the fucking process because like this is a process, dude. I'm literally just standing in a room by myself. Zero followers. Never spoke on a stage anywhere. I've just spoken to people and I just have decided that that's what I'm going to do because it's what I enjoy doing is speaking to people and teaching people. And like you can say I've spoken on a stage if you call like, you know, a stare up from somebody a stage and I'm walking around talking, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I've spoken from there, but never on a stage, but am I gonna do it? Of course I'm gonna do it. What else do I have to do? <laughs> then level up, get better, teach the people who I wanna teach, what I wanna teach them so that they can go do even better without me. But I need to change their foundational beliefs. It's basically all that, really, all that matters, not all that matters, but it's, it's a big part, right? You change the foundational beliefs of anyone and now he's doing different things. And if he's doing different things, he gets different outcomes. So if I can elevate them, make them better, that's really what it comes down to. Make their beliefs better about themselves, then I can change their worldview by educating them and their intelligence by educating them, right? So educate them for the worldview to change the lens that which they, they view everything, plus their intelligence, so educate them and then change how they believe what they're working for. Change how they believe what they can attain. Change what they believe life will be willing to give them if they work for it. Change what they believe they can become. Change what they believe that their children can become when, when kids are saying, oh, I wanna become an astronaut. Yes, you can become an astronaut. It's not way too far out, it does not not exist. And that's not a pun. <laughs> 
because it's in space. Yes, you can become a freaking anything you want, dude. The difference between you and an Olympic athlete is his lifestyle, with all the shit he's given up that you still do. You you watch your phone all day, scrolling TikTok. You watch TV all day. He doesn't do that stuff. He practices all the time, and so what he's actually doing, and then the belief that he can become an Olympic athlete from wherever the hell he got that belief. You don't have it because someone told you, no, not everyone does become Olympic athletes. No, not everyone can be really good at that. No, you're not going to be good at that. You were born here. You have to do this. You were born here with this family here, and they've condemned us to this little terrible job that we're going to tell you to go get. It's like change the beliefs of people change their lives, right? So literally, that's what I'm going to do in the way that I want to do it, teaching the things that I like to teach to the people I like to teach it to, if they are so willing to listen. But I will record the whole process and upload every part of it here so you can watch why I fail, so you can tell me to get better, and so I can watch back why I fail too. And, and there's, some, there's a certain person I want to attract with this channel, and I'll tell you who it is. It's a 21-year-old who reads a shit ton of books, who builds a lot of things, who wants to provide value to people, who wants to do the most he can with the resources that he has until he gets the resources that he can to increase the amount of what he can do. And if there's one person that I want to attract with this channel, by the way, it's me. It's people like me who read thousands of fucking books for some reason and are addicted to learning and dropped out of high school in, in 10th grade and never had any friends and was super self conscious and anxiety stricken and had no idea what the hell to do with my life and was all depressed all the time and now I've beat depression because I told the fucking pill that I used to take to fuck off because I've decided that I was going to go learn progress, fulfillment, neurology and all the things that are contributed to my fulfillment now which is just me moving forward on the things that I enjoy doing for the people I love doing it for to make them better and better at helping others help others. And so, and like, just because I just so happen to, to believe in God, because there's a benefit to believing in God, but there's no downside to believing in God, but there is a downside to not believing in a God when the time comes, or not believing in a God while you're here. Because for some reason, I believe in a God that there's some high, higher power protecting me, moving me towards the things, bringing things towards me that are useful. And all I will say is that I have no idea what the universe actually was created by per se, but I've chosen to believe that there's a God that there's a guy who created the thing that we're standing on, the place that we're in, and whatever, because I like to use the beliefs and systems that, that come from these types of gods that uh, are beneficial to my life and make me feel good. So I don't really care if you have a god or don't have a god. It doesn't matter at all to me. Um, you can be an atheist and still like morally say, hey, you probably shouldn't kick that fucking kid in the face and still be right. So you should have some moral code no matter what, moral compass no matter what. So if that's following a God and that gives it to you, or at least a starting, like a, a skeleton of it so you can edit it, please do that at least. And so, yeah, if anyone wants to consult with me and talk to me, I'm going to start a company, a small company called Dream Consulting. Dream Consulting, you could basically just come talk to me about your biggest, wildest, craziest dreams, and I will add to them. I will never take away from you. Of course not. Um, your dreams are what you need to be chasing because you need to choose to live in the predictable future, not the memorable past. And if you don't make a vision, you by omission choose to live in the memorable past. Every single time you wake up, you're going to be thinking about your problems and all type of shit that you're going to have to deal with today that you dealt with yesterday. That's going to hurt you and be annoying. So live in the future. Please define a vision. Please define a vision and define a why for your vision. The what and the why and then the how will reveal itself. I'll keep saying it until it gets through every single one of our heads, right? And so... Yeah, Dream Consulting. I'm going to start that. It's, it'll be in the description. And if you guys want to come talk to me for like 30 minutes about your biggest dreams, I'll just contribute to them, add some ideas, add some books that I know of that can help you. And uh, we can both be on our merry ways. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. My name has been Freddie. I hope you got some value out of that. And I know you'll get value out of the next one. Like I said, I'm going to do a sort of reaction to like a Brett video and probably some other things that I'm going to be reacting to. Like I said, Permissionless Masterminds. That's a new series that I'll start because why not? Let's just try something, right? Throw it out there, see how it does. If it doesn't do good, fucking great, I'll move on. But anyways, my friends, I digress. Please have a very good rest of your night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.